Welcome to the Grand Canyon. Welcome to Egypt. Off to the Statue of Liberty. This is one of the historic uh, turnoffs along the uh, drive on the I-40, which is now replaced Route 66. Just been told that they actually created a historic tour along Route 66, so that it keeps um, people coming back. So there's a lot of Route 66 merchandise, and uh, that's about it. There's a couple of old motels, which I just can't imagine you'd stay at. There's a couple of automatic, automotive shops that I just can't imagine you'd take your car to. From what we've been told, the uh, founders of the Route 66 and a lot of the store owners had to create a historic sort of, I guess, a visitor centre so that it kept people coming back because once the new I-40 was built, there wasn't a whole lot of reason to to use the Route 66 anymore. So, so yeah, cool to say that you've been on Route 66, um, but I think we'll jump back on the I-40 and get there in half the time and you can tell it hasn't received a lot of love over the last um, sort of 15, 20 years. Um, so there's not a lot of traffic here, you can probably pretty comfortably walk out here and <laughs> not worry about getting too run over. We're, um, we're probably about an hour and a bit away from the Grand Canyon, so we'll just stop to stretch our legs, use the bathroom and um, go to one of the gift shops. I'll see you when we hit the canyon. Welcome to the Grand Canyon and to be honest this whole trip is this has been the one thing I've been looking forward to the most and I'm telling you right now it's not going to do any justice on camera. But it is absolutely stunning. Quite a few people, which is annoying, but it is what it is. But it is huge. Well, so there's really only one thing we can do right now, and that's cue the music and roll the footage. This is God's country We pray for rain and thank Him when it's falling Cause it brings a grain and a little bit of money We put it back in a plate I guess that's why they call it God's country I saw the light in a sunrise Sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside Getting baptized in holy water And shine with the dogs running see behind me this is going straight up into the top three the uh, the pyramids and the valley of the king have, have held the top spots for the last well since I saw them sort of four years ago but this is 
about as close as it gets to, to being on par with that. I think the Grand Canyon may be the coolest thing I've seen in America, period. Yosemite has got absolutely nothing on this. It's crazy. And the camera really doesn't do it justice for quite how big and how deep <laughs> the canyon is. It is huge. We've also been very lucky because it's meant to have rained today and we've had uh, lightning and thunder off in the distance, but so far it's probably a nice 28, 29 degrees. Um, zero rain after having flash flooding in uh, Las Vegas last night. The rain caused flooding in Las Vegas last night. Several valley locations receiving more than an inch of rain and the strongest wind gusts reached 71 miles per hour. At around 10 p.m., NV Energy reported about 7,300 residents without power and all of the lights on Fremont Street went out as well as some lighting at the Golden Nugget. Metropolitan Police Department reported about eight vehicle crashes valley wide and 15 intersections shut downs. The storm could carry into this evening. Which apparently hasn't happened in forever. So the restaurant we had dinner at actually flooded, funnily enough. Um, and they just said they had never had that much water come down at once. So to be able to fluke a clear day today where, you know, there's a few clouds, so it's actually not too hot. We've, uh, we've been very lucky. Grand Canyon gets a huge tick from me. So that wraps up our time in the Grand Canyon, unfortunately. Um, that will definitely go down in my top top three of places ever seen. Um, absolutely stunning. We've just It's actually the next morning, but we've just arrived in a place called Horseshoe Canyon, which is sort of the last stop. Um, I'll show you this quickly without whoop, falling off. Absolutely spectacular. But yeah, it's um, we've been very lucky with the weather. I mean, usually it's stinking hot this time of year, so to be able to get a bit of cloud, a little bit of rain has been quite refreshing actually. But now what happens is we get on the bus. Um, so I'll, I'll wrap up this video here. Um, and we head to uh, Bryce Canyon, which will be the last major stop. So that will make up the final video from this tour, which is uh, San Fran through to LA. I'll throw up a couple of shots of this little spot here, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. What kind of pine wood box I end up in when it's my time, lay me six feet deep in God's country.